Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 in the snow for a survive the hunt. My poor little Fiat has been pelted with snowballs. I feel like this is definitely going to go and kill Ewan first. I feel like maybe even killing Ewan now would be a good idea. There we go. I didn't set the bomb off! Why did it explode? <laughs> I didn't press the button. <laughs> uh, well, that's an unusual weird occurrence. And now, now the whole car is going to get covered with snowballs. Um, I don't. I want to know why that went off. Maybe the animation for picking up a sticky bomb, uh, picking up a snowball, set off. Regardless, yes, we've got to try and survive for 24 hours while this lot of snowball throwers. Uh, is going to give chase, using something a little bit more dangerous than snowballs. Um, the Fiat might explode before we set off, because I know there is a amount... Snowballs actually do do damage, so there is an amount... Oh, whoopsie, that's the wrong button, right? It is 10 o'clock, which means we can begin and we can... Oh, the Fiat can be stopped by a body. That's how weak the little car is. Uh, okay, it's taking us a little longer to get out of the car park, mind the blimp. Uh, <laughs> we're going to survive 24 hours while being hunted. There is no map or name over players. So stealthing around the city is going to be what I'm doing, pretty much. Uh, of course, in the snow, there are some big differences. Well, see some big differences, quite big differences. There's no grip. Well, not a huge amount. Everything understeers a lot. The braking distances are much longer, especially if you are in worse cars, shall we say. Uh, so yeah, you have to look out for that. Visibility is a lot less for those giving chase, certainly for the aircraft. It's not impossible, of course not, but it is a bit more difficult. Uh, well, there is one of the priests. Uh, there are priests all around, of course. We're back to exploding some priests for this one. I'm going to try and blow up as many as I can within 24 hours. I do have a map, so I know where they are roughly located. Uh, the hunters do want me to blow them up because, well, it gives them a good little pinpoint as to where I was at some point because they're all personal vehicles. I don't know what I want to drive here. Um, nothing really very good is sporting. Nothing really very good at all is sporting. None of these have any sort of speed in them. I mean, the Ruiner... The Ruiner is tempting, but it's rear-wheel drive. Do I want rear-wheel drive? Well... I mean, the problem with rear-wheel drive is... It's very easy to pit maneuver. It's very easy to pit maneuver a rear-wheel drive in the snow. So do I want that? Or do I want a cavalcade that's slower, but all-wheel... I mean, ideally I want a half-decent all-wheel drive vehicle. I mean, if the Mupavu was spawning, I'd bring my custom one, which is a bit cheeky, but, you know, my, my custom stealthing one. I think I'm going to have to get to the other side of the city and try and get... Uh, I don't know, is a felon or... No, I think they're rear-wheel drive as well. Uh, ooh! I'm not looking fully where I'm going and almost, almost had trouble. I don't know what I want. Nothing here is really very good, is it? Nothing here is actually looking like a good idea. In some ways, a try. No, you don't get away. Whoa! Uh, fear. The other thing I should, I was going to bring up. I've now got a little bit distracted. Is I have a two-minute head start from the hunters, and now this fear is not that quick, so it doesn't really get very far into the city. Well, it doesn't get as far into the city as other cars do for when the hunters set off. So I should probably change into something fairly soon. I just don't know what. I don't want a rear-wheel drive supercar. While quick, it'll be like one hit and there'll be all sorts of trouble. Also, supercars do generally get searched a lot more thoroughly than a normal car. I mean, you know, see a supercar is probably going to be looked at because, well, it's very fast. It's a good option in some ways. Uh, let's just get past this police station. I've gone literally the whoa, entire other side of the map. I might go for a felon, you know. I, I don't think they're all-wheel drive, but... I'm really not seeing a lot of good stuff here. We're really not seeing uh, any good sort of stuff here. Okay, well, it doesn't matter if we go for this one over here. Sure, you know, we'll go the white track. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. We'll go with the white tracksuit in the snow because, well, maybe we'll blend in if we have to get out of the car. Oh, we camoed. We'll have Arctic camo. Yes, that's definitely, definitely what's happening here. We have Arctic camo on our on our character. Right, let's go. It's also something they won't expect me to be wearing as well, which might help. I don't know. Uh, where are we going to plan on heading? Let's have a look at the map as to where the prees are. There is one up kind of by Michael's house-ish. There is one along the top road. There's one... I don't even know, that big junction by the Los Santos Customs in the middle of the city. There, I presume it's parked in an awkward place. It's difficult to get to. There's one down by the pier. Actually, we're quite close to the one by the pier. Yeah, I could go there. Could head, could loop my way around towards that one. That's somewhere over there, I think. 
Yeah, maybe we'll go for the one for the pier instead. Um, there's one down by the arena, there's one down by the exit of the docks, there's one up in Mirror Park bit, those, those houses, and there's one maybe strip club-ish, car wash-ish, that area. They're quite well spread out, which does make it a little bit more difficult for me. Can we see much going on? No sign of any hunters. Yeah, it's not so surprising. The AI's made a little mistake. Now, the AI's are also affected by this weather, I should add. Which means they are going to slip and slide around a lot more. Excuse me. What is going on here with the trap? But, yeah, they, they drive as if nothing is different, but they have less grip. So they still drive in the same manner, but the cars aren't going to respond in the same way. So they are more erratic and potentially more dangerous. Something we're going to have to watch out for, really. Especially if they get freaked out by, let's say, an explosion going on. They might do weird things. Are they going to crash more? Which does help me. The more chaos they cause, they crash into each other more. The more chaos they cause, you can see with the jeep struggling to make the corner, the better off I am, because they're going to be chasing shadows and ghosts, etc. Which we hope will happen plenty. Probably not, but we can live in hope. Uh, shenanigans going on over there. Weird shenanigans going on over there. Bloody hell. I'm really glad I stopped in time for that one. I, for a second, thought that was coming to carjack me. It looked like the way it was pulling up looked like it decided they'd had enough of their ruiner and wanted to go and drive a felon. And that wouldn't have been ideal. <laughs> Thankfully, that wasn't what was happening. Uh, there really is nothing out over this way, so that's fine. We'll just keep heading towards... Oh, It's got a dustbin. Yes, that is absolutely what you need for... How is it carrying that so well? Oh no, it was lagging. Ah, oh, disappointed. That was a great, <laughs> it was a great push. <laughs> we'll play dustbin curling unintentionally and unbeknownst to them because it was just a laggy bit of street furniture. But still, it was fun. Uh, well done. Oh, blimpers! Hello, blimpy. A little more difficult for the blimp. Visibility, as I said, is not great up there. It's still going to be useful, but not as useful, perhaps. Well, I'm a little worried about when I inevitably end up getting in a chase. A little worried about getting spun, basically. I think this is going to be a difficult one to deal with with this current spawn set. Uh, we want to go... Do we know where the car is? Oh, we don't. Was I in the lane properly there? No, I don't think so. I think that might have just screwed me. Oh no, the car's putting his roof up. I thought that might have just screwed me from being in a weird position, but I can't see road markings, which does make it more difficult for me to know kind of where I need to be positioned for some junctions, if they have like funky rules, etc. Um, but no one can see them, so it kind of works itself out. They don't know I'm doing it wrong unless I crash into an AI car, basically. So we'll work on that basis. As long as I'm not crashing into an AI car, I'm probably doing it right. Uh, now, we want to head down onto the pier. That is where we're going. Uh, there is a car somewhere down here. Now... The way it's positioned on the map, it could be in the car park below, it could be in the car park here. I don't think it is going to be all the way at the end of the pier, although it could be. Um, that would be a mean place to have it. Hmm, it could be under the pier, there's nothing technically stopping them from... Uh, it's not in the easy to get to car park, is it? Of course it isn't. Uh, hmm... Whereabouts is it then? This is a problem. This is a problem for me. I'm wasting time and I'm in a dangerous location. I don't really blend in here very well. I can't see it in the car park. So it might be all the way under there. That's really awkward to get to now. I'm almost committed over here. So I do want to try and get to it. Actually, no, it's not too bad to get to. We can just drive down. We will have to have a search there. That's a lot of vehicles altogether. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You know. Um, they do sometimes end up... I say it's, it's just kind of always human nature. You end up almost hanging to you. find a hundred and go, Oh, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll stick together. Because if they do find me, it's easier to take me out if there's a group of them. Uh, and, you know, we'll just follow that car. That car's got the same idea that we have. Oh, no, no, no. It was the turning we needed further along. Oh, bugger and blast. 
Don't want to go along here. Nothing I can do about it. Ah, oh, damn it. No, there's nothing I can do about it subtly. That bunch of cars just went onto the pier I just saw behind. So we have kind of made a good time to get an escape. So many cars around. Hmm. Where do we head? Do we abandon this? Maybe we do. A little bit. Okay, maybe I don't want to go out into this lane. No, it's fine. We can get across here. We can hopefully merge. Nope. Okay, we'll merge behind. That's fine. Ooh, it's going to be a little bit janky. That's alright. There's so many... Oh, there were a lot of cars back there, and they were about, and I'm worried about doing a U-turn on the motorway. I mean, I couldn't see anybody, but I can't study every area, if you like. We'll play it safe on this one. Last time it was too much bravery that got me in trouble. This time we'll play it a little bit safer. Okay. New plan. We follow this road around. We keep following this road around until we get to the golf course. We take a left, we go around the back of the golf course, and we should find the car somewhere down... I think it's Michael's house. It might be the turning before Michael's house. It's certainly that area of the map. We can, we can do that, I think. We'll be fine. Possibly. <laughs> Who knows? Nobody knows. Uh, last time we came down here, we got in all sorts of trouble, I think. Well, last time we came down here, there was a big old blimp party going on. No sign of that at the moment. No real sign of... We saw the big group of hunters, but other than that... we being fairly spread out. I can't actually see the blimp at all, which... is good news for me. Although, despite its size, it can be surprisingly stealthy sometimes. It is easy to lose track of it. It can suddenly just pop up from somewhere where you least expect it. Just sort of behind some buildings. We're at one of the higher points of the city here. So, yeah, it can be around over there somewhere. Just now with buildings in the way. Unfortunately, yeah, a little bit of a bust on our first foray out to get a Prius. Slight wrong turning by me and too many hunters around and yeah, there's just not... I got sucked into following an AI car, basically. Oh well, never mind. We're not going to be breaking any records, I don't think, on this one. Which would be unlikely. Uh, uh, there's just AI cars loading in the distance. It just looks a bit odd, but it's, just, it's not fully rendered or something over there. Can we have some green lights, perhaps, for us? We don't want to turn left, though. We want to go straight on. Can we hurry up, please? Possibly. Everybody is... Yeah, no sign of it. Well, obviously, they're busy. They might be busy chasing after... Well, might be busy chasing after shadows. As I mentioned before, it is actually quite easily done. You can end up just following a random car around the place. Uh, oh, there has been a crash. I'm not going to worry myself about that one. Yeah, it's not my crash. Oh, we could have got... You could have... There's no one around to see. We're going to just sneak our way across a little bit because... I want to... Actually, why have I gone over that way? I, I could go around the golf course, or I could play this one smarter, and it's a slight quicker route if I follow it along here. I don't know why I was going to go around the back of it. Sure. Um, That's fine. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out if, it's, if this is Michael's house. I think it's... I think it's going to be down a narrow road. I, I worry that I'm going to have to take a funky turn. That's going to put me in a bit of a potentially vulnerable spot to try and get this one. Not that there's any sign of anything. This fog is good for me. If a blimp does turn up, it does not have much in the way of options, uh, much in the way of say, ability to, to do the real long-range car spotting. Closer stuff, sure. Why is that sunk? <laughs> not sure. Uh, there is a left turn here, I presume is. Now I heard something whizzing around there and I didn't see it. Could it just be an AI with a sports car? They do drive them. That's a smashed up Feltzer over there. What happened to that I wonder? Oh, maybe not some smashed up Feltzer. Is it? No? Okay. Just the way it loaded in. Ignore me completely. It's perfectly normal Feltzer, it would seem. Right, so we don't want this left. We want the next left I think. Which is to go up a, a 
narrow road. Okay, so it's not quite Michael's house. What I'm going to do... We're going to... Um, we should get to it in the time. Maybe Hi. we'll just have Lester on the what phone. What service are you looking for? It was a little beetle, or... I think it was the beetle, the new one. Oh, there's a go-kart going around. Right, so it's up there somewhere. I don't quite know where. Oh, there's a pink cavalcade. Does that uh, blow that up? Does that all count? Done. All You're right, good. we'll go. We'll go. Cop set a blind eye now. We'll get ready because I think it should be somewhere up here. It should be somewhere after this. I can't see the damn thing. I'm saying I thought it was that sign. It doesn't look like it is. Maybe it is in Michael's driveway or something. There it is. Okay. Oh, crap. I messed... I pressed the wrong button. Well, you know what? We're going to have to have the smashed window problem. Uh, <laughs> this one. That's fine. We'll have to go for that. And there we have got a first car exploded. We're going to have to ditch this vehicle pretty sharpish. Uh, it is getting to night, which is... Again, more difficulty in terms of visibility. Uh, can I... Uh, do I want to risk trying to clear the window out on the car? That is a very good question. Probably not if I can help it. Uh-oh. Uh that's not good. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely not good. Neither is the car behind us. Having uh, a player in it that I didn't realise. We'll go for a quick J turn. The good news is they're all in rear wheel drive. Well, it's a go kart. That's not much of a problem. I get a bloody window on this one. It's got me in. Yeah, it's the the danger. There's a little bit. There's a little bit of a rush. A little bit of a, a bad pre-explosion. That one. I shall be honest. Uh, could do better. Should have done better. Um, I didn't know how much time we had, and I fumbled the controls a little bit, and that put us in trouble. Okay, well, I mean, vehicle-wise, we are all even. The difference is they've got a much, I say much more of them, many more of them giving chase. So if one of them makes a mistake, they've got another one that can carry on. If I make a mistake, of course, we're in all sorts of pain. Uh, whoa, make the corner. Try and cause issues for the vehicles in chase, if at all possible. Oh, yeah, two, it's just going to be Felon Squad. Uh, no, wait. Jackal and Felon, that's the one. I always get this confused. I think I've been calling this the wrong bloody thing. Why have I got them, have I got them confused? I don't know. Um, regardless, doesn't matter. We were, <laughs> it's four-door saloon car. Four-door luxury saloon cars is what we have got in this. Oh, Chase. Uh, there's a priest somewhere around here, I think? Maybe? I don't know. Don't really look too much. I saw that was like poking its nose out and ducked behind it. I'm gonna get rid of demon eyes somehow. How are we gonna manage that one? Little bits, little maneuvers like that could work. Would be nice if I could manage to pull something like that off. Oh, now they're not gonna fall for the same trick again. I wouldn't expect the old. Duck. They're close enough that they'll see where I've gone in this one. Now I don't think I can get over the uh, edge. But we can, hopefully, cause them some problems in trying to follow if I do all of this sort of stuff. Yes, they've rolled over. That's good. And they might not see where I've gone. Oh, they... Oh, one of them saw... the blimp's close enough. The bloody blimp! The blimp might have its uses now. If I'm clever here, I've got a big lead on them. They're in identical cars to me. We can see what the fog is like. That blimp is not going to be able to see me. The blimp's not going to know where I've gone here. The car's just, but they're not very close. Will they be able to see which one of these I've gone around? I don't know. Possibly not. They might take one each. Something along those lines could work for them. Come on, get to this tunnel down here. Get into the tunnel. I've got to get far enough away here before I even think about swapping cars. It's going to be dang about the tunnel is much clearer visibility than anywhere else. Where am I going to go to swap cars, though? That is the real difficult part here. Uh, I have a plan, but it's risky. 
if there is anything following me, which I didn't actually see. Okay. I don't know whether anything's sore. Now, if there's a, if a blimp's around, I'm done for. Did a car see me go this way? Is the question. I mean, we can actually answer the conundrum of where the bloody hell was the pink pre over here. Maybe. Found the pink prey. <sighs> okay. Let's just put that away. Do I go for a car? It doesn't actually look like there's anybody really searching this way. So if I go grab a car. I'd ideally prefer a car that's driving. I don't really want a cavalcade, though, if I can help it. It's literally a car park full of jackals, a 9F, and a Schwarzer. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to take the 9F. I mean, it's not a bad thing per se. The 9F is a quick car. Excuse me. Don't oh, mind me. I do require your vehicle. Um... Oh crap, they're there. And I've got to blow the car up before I leave the car park. Uh, because I am already... I mean, it went up. I wasn't... It didn't actually send up the notification, which is a little bit concerning. It definitely exploded. I don't I think... I think it might not have so worked properly. <laughs> trouble, huh? okay, I love GTA sometimes. Me. No, they seem to know... I think I could be in strife here, because I have a feeling they noticed. They're definitely looking at my car. Well, they were looking at the car. Hmm. Weird. A lot of vehicles around. The lifeguard vehicle, and I don't know what it is, an SUV of some sort. They do seem to be looking. Which I do not like. Okay, we're good to go. We are being followed. We have a tail. I mean, the lifeguard vehicle is not exactly the biggest threat in the world. Oh, it's crashed. <laughs> the lifeguard vehicle has crashed. Well, you know, I'm going to worry about it less now. Just a smidge less. Now it's ended up in a wall. We've only got one, no, two exploded prees at the halfway mark, which is not great. Traffic lights, if you could please do something. Anything at all, well, no, go green. Not that lane, oh, for God's sake. I want to go left, I think. I'm in the left-hand turn. I might be in the central bit, I'm not actually sure. Oh, that goes, it's got to be, because there's two lights there, so if there wasn't, if there wasn't a left turn, there would be two lights there, right? Oh, I'm going to get rumbled for being a bloody supercar. I can sense it. They're going to keep seeing a 9F and go, hmm, I did see the van just drive into the post. That's quite funny. Well done. Uh, <laughs> uh, why are we going? Apparently we are. Well, everyone's going, so I'm going to join in. Did we all just run at a red light because everyone else was? I don't know. Oh, everyone's around here. They think I've gone that way, which is a logical assumption as to how I might have got away from the pier. Well, the whole squad has just crashed into us. Well, not into us. Amazingly, miraculously, they crashed into everyone around me and not me. But we managed to be a good enough AI that no one was suspicious. Although they are starting to get suspicious of stuff. Jeez, that was very lucky there. Um, I don't really want to follow the lifeguard van, but I don't really have many other options as to where this goes. I mean, actually, if I follow this around, I can get to another pre, but do I want to? That is the question. I'm going to follow where the AIs are going there. Um, because they've all gone and got... ...through there. I, 
can't, I can't sit there for too long. There's just too many cars around, and all it takes is one person to get out of their vehicle. Oh, all right, let's go, let's move, let's move, let's move. We have got really superior car, uh, superior, I say, vehicle firepower now. Um, we will probably just bugger off into the distance. Uh, I just turn the lights out. I don't think they're actually going to really be able to do much about this car. Whoa! Oh, that was a big slide. Let's just try and get it under control, though. Yeah, I mean, they might not be able to do much about it. I can still crash the damn thing on my own like a plank if I want to. Uh, we're going to try to avoid doing that one. And I can end up actually running into more of the chase without meaning to, because it's difficult to tell how far away is uh, successfully out of the way. Um, with this car, I suspect it's not going to take long to have managed to get there. Uh, certainly quicker than in the felon. Ooh, I don't know where to go. I really want to find somewhere I can just ditch the car. I mean, I can see somebody in the background there. There is a pre somewhere around here, actually. Uh, I think it's off to the side. I might have missed it already. I'm going so quick, I don't even know. Oh, whereabouts it is along here. Uh, we could try... Oh, that's not the road I thought it was, but... It'll work. Uh, get in here. I sure to get the car well out of sight. Uh, which would be up here somewhere. Okay, we've got some vehicle options for getaway. That is nice. I like that. We're going to get out of this car. Now, they're not going to be able to see it. They're not going to be able to see it from the road because... I mean, we are well out of sight of the road here. You can't, you're not going to see it. Uh, <laughs> I thought that last time, but there really is literally no way unless you're uh, in an aircraft over there. They can't see it from either side of the car park because we're all walled in. There's no way up to this top level other than from here. There might be a footpath, might be some stairs the other side of that car park, but I don't think there's any other option. So we've got a getaway car. Uh, they're going to be checking supercars now, I can almost guarantee you that. I've used it. The idea is kind of burnt here. I could try and take down the blimp if it's close, but that is going to be difficult, potentially. Um, there's a police helicopter, which I'm trying to figure out if one of them has nicked it, or whether it is just a genuine police helicopter. I presume it's a genuine one. I don't think you can... It would be very difficult to steal when they have a helicopter. I think they're only going to be using the blimps anyway, from what I remember. All uh, right, we'll go and take this car. I'm sorry, we're going to end up stealing a car. Oh, wait, we didn't even have to break the window. It was left unlocked. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very, very much, game. That is more kindness than I expected. It is safe to say. Much more kindness than I expected. I just saw a car whiz past over there. This is more of a problem, though. Barrier. Oh, I'm going to scratch my car going out here. I don't want to scratch the car. I just want the barrier to open. Oh, please don't scratch it. Oh, great. I'm going to hope that, that doesn't, the damage doesn't sink on that. The only other way was to go out the entrance, which was also potentially problematic. Oh, I missed the turn as well. Oh, I had a really good plan there. Oh, it has worked because the car missed. Damn, just, they were hanging around that area. There's, that's annoying. The only good point is we've got a black car. We've stuck away quite quickly in the middle of the night, in the middle of the fog. Well, it's not fog, not really fog, kind of just murk. Snow? No, whatever it is, visibility's garbage. And there's only one of them on me. There wasn't really anywhere to try and be clever down there. I also thought I could be quicker down these straights, but apparently not. Uh, we'll avoid them if we can. Uh, we really do need to start blowing up some breeze here. This is not going to play. It's a lot more difficult in the uh, snow, apparently. Uh, come on, we need to get further away. We need to get further away before we start doing sneaky buggers with the alleyways and stuff here. Ooh. Ooh, uh, signs should lose that all-important momentum. We'll duck through all of that. Um, where are we going to go? I guess we can play around in here a little bit, try and confuse them. Can I see a blimp anywhere? Yep. <laughs> can a blimp see me? Possibly. Uh, that's always a difficult... It's very difficult to know when you've lost the blimp. 
very, very difficult. I know it struggles to turn around, which is why I'm not too disappointed about racing this direction, seeing it going the other way. There's a priest somewhere around here, I just don't know where it is. We're just trying to use blinding speed at the moment. Make the most of, we know the blimp's long range disadvantages with the fog. Oh, pink cavalcade was there. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be able to turn around in time to do anything, but it's just, it's, you know, they've got another notification, if you like, of where I am at one point, and they're trying to piece it together. I don't know where I'm going to run to next. I wish I going to blast through the, uh, through the city. Uh, maybe not by the police station, that's a poor idea, although the car park's a good idea. Ooh, all sorts of wiggly, wiggly car. Alright, car park, I like car parks. This one here might have... Okay, well, I like car parks in terms of getting into and swapping cars. Getting out of is always risky. Uh, it also does rely on there being a car in said car park for me. Which, at the moment, there does not look like there is one. That's a bit of a problem. Game, 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 you wouldn't do this to me, would you? You, would, you wouldn't spawn a car park and not give me any vehicles to swap into. Or only have vehicles on the roof where a blimp might see me. You would. I have a feeling I, this might, I might have signed my death sentence going in here. Um, by virtue of... Car parks have not been my best friends in the past. Wow. The one vehicle option is, I think, worse than the one option I currently have. Mm -mm. I feel like I want to be in this car more than I want to be in a Seminole. Even though I know it's not... It, well, even though I know this car's burnt, maybe me driving up will have got something to spawn in the car park. That's what we're going to hope for here. I'm hoping that A, no one saw me drive in here, which I don't think they did. Hmm. And there is another option. There is another way out of here. Seminole. Nobody wants that. The other option is to walk. Now... Is that a stairway that I can go in? No, it is not. The, the walking option, do they know what I'm wearing? No, probably not. The walking option has its risks. So, do, I mean, driving out of the car park with that is not a clever idea. So we're going to try. I mean, this is a little scary. I'm not going to lie. We are at least... Oh, do I have any... Please tell me I have... Aha! No, 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 why would I want that? Super heavy armor. That is what we want. So, there should be a stairway here that we can walk down. Now, I'm going to keep my guns away. It's unlikely anyone is going to be looking up at the staircase. There are cars in the car park that we could head towards. Now, will we ha we'd have to smash a window? Yes. However, at the end of the day, it is better than nothing. And it means we don't have to leave a car park with a very, very clearly... I just got scared by my own shadow there. But yeah, I can leave the car park without being a very clearly... player vehicle, and it's not a vehicle that's being looked for at the moment. Uh, do I go... You know what, there's nobody around. Maybe I do head towards that car park where there is at least a car that we know we can go for. Uh, as long as we don't get spotted before then. There is the lifeguard van whizzing around. Oh, great. It's not like we're going to be able to get out of here subtly, is it, really? Uh, super diamonds are spawning. They could be fun. We're going to aim, but please let this car... It'd be really nice if this car was unlocked as well. You know, that would be... The best possible outcome of everything would be a nice unlocked oracle. I didn't really want an oracle, but... A nice unlocked oracle. Please, game. Oh, GTA 5 gods. Please let this car be unlocked. Crap. Oh, I don't have an alarm, though. Huh. That surprises me. Okay, well, we'll try and get rid of the glass as much as I can on the window. No, no, it's not worked. We're just going to live with it for now until maybe we get a better uh, option. Oh, nuts. That's unfortunate. If they saw me. I'm going to work on the basis that they didn't. Uh, we're going to work on the hope against hope that nobody saw that car doing something that AIs wouldn't normally. I don't think they did. And if they did, they might not have seen what it was well enough to be able to direct or to, to 
give away my cover, but it does have a smash window. Oh, don't like this. This has become surprising. This has become surprising. It's more tricky in these conditions. Ah, oh, crap. The van and lifeguard are about. Do they know what they're looking for? That is the question. Piss off, you ruin a bugger. <laughs> I can't sit there with a ruiner alongside me. Uh, I don't know whether they... I don't know whether they saw, but the fact of the matter is whether they saw immediately or saw afterward. They were going to see that, and there was nothing I could do about it. So... That ruiner really screwed us. Oh, that is one of them in a super diamond. That is a very well... Uh, secluded... Well, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Panic stations are afoot here. Um, undercover car. Yeah, I just thought that was a vehicle coming out of the jungle. That was damn well played. Um, I mean, I'm fairly sure it was one of them and not just an AI being derptastic. It is possible that an AI was being derptastic, but I do believe that was one of them uh, playing an actually very clever manoeuvre uh, on me. Oh, come on now. Can I do... I don't know where the blimp is. Any clever manoeuvres around the canals only work if there's not a blimp above me. And I don't know, I'm not even far enough away anyway, so no clever manoeuvres for us. What the... Okay, that's just a weird loading in tree. Why well, there's a giant snowboard at the end of the road? Oh! Big oversteer moments. Ah, the, or the oracle, jackal, felon, whatever the bloody thing is. I <laughs> don't know, I don't care anymore. We're just at panic stations once more. But how the hell do I get away? And I don't have the power of a 9F. Oh! on Oracle. Through those gaps we go. What am I going to do here? We don't have, well, have like 10 minutes at least of actual time. Game time. I don't, don't know. Uh, got a fair chunk of time. I don't know if I can run the entire way, especially not with cars suddenly appearing like that. Bloody hell. Alright, we're good. We're good. Any sign of a blimp? Yes. Okay, so we've got the blimp above us. We've got the felon behind us. Now the felon doesn't actually want to get too close. Now, the reason for that is, well, at least I think, uh, while they might not be getting too close, is I can be, as I can be sneaky, but if I jam on the brakes and they come shooting past, because of the uh, surface conditions, because everything like braking distance is longer, there's less grip, etc. If I pull that off successfully, they lose a lot of time, so they don't necessarily want to get too close uh, in case they fall to that. I mean, they want to get close, they want to try to stop me, but that's annoying for me. Uh, although it's gone worse for the car giving chase, as that has gone for a very big flip. And if I can play this right, it might not know what way I've gone. Um, that's the hope here. Where is the blimp? I think the blimp is still above me, but I can't see it. Yeah, blimp is still above me. That's fine. I can give that some grief as well if I'm clever. So the blimp's biggest concern is trying to turn around. It can't do U-turns very easily. Uh, now, while I don't want to go back on myself too much, because I'll run into chasers, uh, there's an amount that we can do that will make life difficult for the blimp. Oh, well, hopefully not getting me caught. I don't think the blimp knows where I've gone. I don't think I know where I've gone. I do, thankfully, on this bit, this little bit of road. There is the blimp. Ah, but a, a, the, the blimp is way too far back to see anything now, but the car that has found me, that is following me, uh, the problem is you can't just immediately ditch your car because you've got to know whether you're far enough away. And, yeah, that's, that's this is difficult. This is difficult. It's a pain in the ass. Oh, can we give them any grief getting around this turning? I mean, I'm going the wrong way at the moment. Uh, I'm heading a little bit back, back towards the blimp. Big crash for somebody. Hopefully that was the car that was following me. It's uh, sort of spiralling through the air. There is a blimp, but it's a long way back now. Okay, Ron, go away. There is a pre somewhere around here, but that is the least of my concerns. Now, they're going to expect me to jump into the car park potentially around here. Can, do you reckon the blimp can see us? I mean, it is still tracking us at the moment. Yeah, I don't reckon I'm out of line of sight for that thing, which is annoying. Oh, that's not what we needed. We bounced it. Oh, that's a problem for me. Mm, crap. <laughs> I 
there's no cars, uh, and, say annoyingly, most annoyingly for me, there is no cars around. Which means this might work. If I'm really clever. I mean, it's going to be difficult to pull off. Because the blimp will have expected me to pop out somewhere, will realise I've not gone there, and will probably be searching out. Ah, they knew, they knew what was up, but this buys me time. This does buy me some more time in as far as... Um, there's not many cars around me here. It's difficult to pin me in when we're down here. There is... Beetle just popped out of the little... I don't want to go up there necessarily. If other cars... Oh, no, maybe... It's already gone way too far down there the other way. We can go past the Bincident location. Ah, oh, even better is we can go under the blimp. Yes, make the blimp do a U-turn. That is absolutely perfect. That is absolutely what we want. Make the blimp do a U-turn. It hates doing them. And we can whiz away into the distance. Hopefully. It might not even have seen where I've gone. If I'm really lucky, the blimp saw the brake lights of the beetle and is now following that down somewhere where it shouldn't be. Um, that would be very funny if that was the case. I need to swap cars. I can't keep going in this. We've got to abandon ship somewhere. Can I abandon ship? Uh, somewhere more secluded than here? Yes, I can. Whee! I want to get this just undercover, out of the way. There's not many good cars spawning, but... Uh, really is nothing good spawning, but at least we can get this into some sort of cover. don't want a Seminole, okay? Game. The garbage. They're complete and utter crap. Could you give me something? I mean, they might be better. I said, to be fair, I said that about a Hummer that saved my life. I would very gladly take a Hummer. Oh, great GTA gods! Could you bequeath upon me a Hummer? Please. Please. Just not a Seminole. Anything but that. Ooh! Oh, wait. Okay, so it's Seminole or 9F. I heard a lot of beeping. Now, I am being quite cautious. Uh, don't make a run for the 9F. Uh, maybe. I don't, I don't, I don't want a supercar particularly, because they're too... Ah, what's that? Uh, that's a rapid. And that's another 9F. Well, you know what? We haven't gone for a rapid. Let's grab one. Now, these will have it. Ah! Haha! Uh -huh. You left your car unlocked. Okay, GTA 5 Gods. You have bequeathed me quite a nice getaway vehicle here. Thank you for that one. There is a car, there is a pre somewhere around, not so crazy far from here. It's out by the stadium. So if we can maybe get back on track here, we can try and head towards the stadium. This is going to be suspicious, I'm not going to lie. The Rapid GT doesn't spawn in traffic down here, really. I'm very surprised to find it in the car park. Uh, so if anyone is really thinking about what's going on, they're going to immediately cotton on that this isn't quite... What's the thing? The car is an AI car, of course. There is a Super Diamond farting around in the car park. Um, yeah, the vehicle is an AI car, of course, but it's also a bit out of place here. This is bad, shall we say. This is... This isn't good. They might have spotted it. Maybe not? That, to me, felt horrifically dangerous. I don't know how they didn't... I don't know how I got away with that, if I'm honest with you. That is... That was lucky. That was... That was super crazy. Very, very lucky. Um, cool, I'll take it. Now, if I am right with where this car is, I don't have much time left to survive. I don't have much time in terms of distance I'm about to travel. So let's call Lester. Hey, what's um, going on? Cops turn a blind eye. Go. I mean, this would only be the third pre. This would not be a very big score, but three pre's are better than two. If we can manage a third one, that would be really, really helpful. Uh, now, I think it's somewhere, if I'm looking at this map right, I think it's somewhere around here. Again, I don't quite know exactly where it is. I'm really hoping 
that it is. Well, there is a hunter directly in front of us. I can't see the car either. Hmm. It's, ah, look, there it is. Okay, I do see the car. We do not have very long to go. So, I mean, more we'll smash though it is going to be. Sticky bomb and, and go almost, I think, here. Can we get the window down quickly? Yes. Okay, just in case we can sneak out of this one. Admittedly, I think I could technically turn here with the right on the red light sort of a thing. But it is now a green light. Is there any sign of a hunter car around? No. So we're just going to go for it. I don't know there's a blimp overhead that is... Uh, yeah, I mean, the blimp has just seen us. Good luck keeping up with this blimp. But <laughs> Didn't see the blimp, but we're just going to go with it. Because the blimp can try and chase us. I'm not sure how successful it's going to be. And we're going to try and be sneaky as well. Um, we're going to stay under the cover of the bridge here. So that the blimp isn't going to see what way we've gone. And with any luck, isn't going to know where we're headed. We've got an hour. Can we try and... It would be ambitious to try and get another pre, if I'm honest. There's nothing close to this uh, to this location. Um... That was quite a good sneaky, I will say. That was quite a good sneaking around. Oh, no, no, I don't want to go this way. Um, maybe not go this way because the blimp's there, but... I mean, I can just cru slow it down, maybe. And we'll go for a last hour of just gentle cruising around the city. Oh, my car's got a scratch on it. Okay, never mind then. Um... Yeah, no, maybe not. <laughs> not too many vehicles were out this way. I was trying to be too clever. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, could have got a bike. They've only spawned in now. Would have been very sensible. Totally not potentially... Whoa. That was close. It's still bouncing. That front end just didn't want to come back onto the ground. Now the back end's doing all sorts of funky things. I'm not sure the supercar was all, way, all, all the way to go somehow. Here. Oh. That'll work for me. We're going to go this way now. Jeez. Okay, we have actually dumped the Schwartz the wrong way. Whatever was behind it missed following the direction I went in. Uh, we've only got a little bit of time to go now. I think it was 10 o'clock, wasn't it, we set off at. So we've got half an hour of game time. They're just about there in the background. I wonder if we could... Maybe we could try and sneak this one that's at the top of the map. Uh, that would be a at least half decent end to this. Yeah, it is right around the corner, so we might be able to do it. Oh, before the very end. We're going to be very, very, very close in terms of time. I mean, I've got to spot it almost immediately if I'm going to make it happen. Uh, there. Which I can't get. Oh, that's annoying. Can't get it. I'm not going to risk driving straight on. Oh, down there towards it. We've only got 15 minutes of game time. We've weaved past the cars heading towards us. Kind of didn't mind cutting back on myself there, because I, if I could dodge them, would actually pull a good distance to them. Uh, we're bouncing across some curbs again. Straight line speed is going to get us away. It's eight minutes to go here for the rapid. I'm not going to have... Oh, eight minutes of game time we're talking here. We're not going to have time to loop ourselves back somewhere. Oh, there it is. The time is up. We have done it. We have got away from... Well, not got away. We've survived the uh, the hunt. Jump on the anchors. Oh, we could probably get away down here. They probably wouldn't know where I've gone. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing in, in the subway. I don't think they would have seen me go down here. Probably not. Blimp's certainly not going to be able to see. Uh oh. If I'd exploded then, it would have been funny. But, uh, yeah, there we go. It was, while we got away, there were some nerve-wracking chases, and we didn't really get very many pre's in that one. We tried, we kind of went for a few, never really got... Well, I say we got kind of close, we couldn't find them, we bumbled around a bit, got a bit lucky. Um, 
made it work in the end, we are going to blow up this car by being a plank. I can just sense this is where this is headed. Um, you know what? Let's get out of here safer. We down this way. Whew, that was hard work. Yeah, the uh, snow does make a big difference. It does to where the cars drive, and your vehicle choice is also a bit affected uh, with this one. You've kind of got to think about what you're going to use. This rapid, it had straight line speed, but it was honestly quite sketchy in places. And I think they could have quite easily taken out all, you know, well, the tiniest of nudges that it starts getting into big trouble. So, yeah, we were lucky that we never got really cornered with this car. That is for sure. And here we go. We've got ourselves out of the little tunnel area. Whew. That was an experience. That is for sure. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. That shall be it for today. Until next time, a goodbye.